I will start off by saying this is one of my favorite shows, and I'm not just giving this is my first interview of the day, but I'm not, it's not a line. I'm a, I, re, I love this show. Thank you. And you're just incredible. You are an incredible Thank actress. Thank you so much. So I agree. congratulations. <laughs> Thank where, you. Where did, how did you discover this story? Uh, discover the story of Anna Green Gables? Yes. Oh, I read the book when I was a little girl. I wasn't, I'm not familiar with the story until this show. So oh, I'm wow. being introduced to it now, and I'm just yeah. curious. So that It was written in 1908. And it is uh, the most famous and beloved Canadian piece of fiction ever. I have a feeling that here in the United States, people are going to start like, wait a minute, because honestly, I, you know, it's one of those like, how do I not know this story? Okay, so the same question for you. How did this character, this role, find its way to you? Same as you. I read the book when I was nine. My mom gave me the book for my ninth birthday, and I read it then. And that was kind of, yeah, that was my first introduction to her. But as far as like landing the role itself, the audition process, tell me a little bit about that. Well, I did a self-tape first of all, and then next thing I know I'm being invited over to Toronto. And then we did some, I'd say like normal auditions mm -hmm. where we just sat on the floor and chatted for a bit and did that kind of audition process. And then you said, like, let's go on an adventure. And then we went to a mansion where I was talking to flowers and trees and taking twigs to build thrones and just so much improvisation. That's it was just great. a classic audition. Mode. Oh yeah, it's the average. Mm -hmm. This is an emotional story. I was told myself I wasn't going to start crying when I was talking to you guys today because you're just adorable. <laughs> I feel so sorry for her. But is, is it an emotional role to play? Yeah. No, definitely. I, I think you really, really have to go somewhere very kind of dark in you to kind of bring that out in its kind of full fledge. Um, and it, it can take me a while whenever we do like really sad scenes where you're like mm -hmm. sobbing. It takes me a while to come out of them. But it was a really good experience for me to kind of go through that because I hadn't done that before. What are your hopes, besides uh, more people like myself, I'm going to go and try to find this book. <laughs> it won't be hard to do because it'll be <laughs> everywhere. But what are your hopes for people when they see this show? What, what do you hope that we get out of this? Obviously, besides being nice to people. Right. I mean, yeah, I hope they love it and I hope they relate to the characters. But, you know, there's so much conversation in the world right now about feminism and gender parity and equality and... Um, prejudice against people who come from away. So it's really cool to be part of that conversation, yeah. too. Can we talk about the costumes? Because that has to be... Yes. Okay, I'm already getting a reaction out of you. <laughs> How fun it would be to dress up in this time period. They're the best. Because I had these, like, boots, and I had these, like, bloomers with, like... Mm. it was They were great. But, no, the dresses were gorgeous, but I did find myself being really jealous of the other girls because they got to wear ones with puff sleeves and flounces and frills and I was just like oh okay so I felt like Anne definitely but as soon as I got the puff sleeve dress I was so happy. Do so. you always use big words when you talk in real life because she's got some big words. She has some very very big Her words. Her vocabulary is growing. Yes definitely. <laughs> All right let's talk about the rest of the cast. Um, I just drawing a blank right now but the gentleman that plays your... R.H. Thompson. He how and awesome Geraldine is he? James. And I hate the neighbor, by the way. Oh, See good. The show. That's a good thing. <laughs> she, that little scene that you had with her, good for you. In fact, <laughs> I, I cheered at the TV. People are going, what is he talking about? You'll see it here, here shortly. That's but awesome. uh, she's so mean. But I, I was cheering for you. But the rest of the cast, let's talk mm. about that for a second. And the interaction and the chemistry there is just perfect for this show. Yeah, R.H. Thompson and Geraldine James, they're both just such magnificent veteran actors. Um, and it was really fun to bring bring them all three together yeah. and in that crucible of Green Gables and uh, yeah, watch them grow together and foster each other's abilities. And I will close with this question about the set and filming okay. this thing. Where is this shot? It's beautiful. We shot in Prince Edward Island. We shot kind of around the Ontario area. Was that? Yeah. yeah, that was it. Beautiful. It is. It's well, congratulations. Are you excited? This show is going to be released to the world. And excited. Nervous. nervous. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> yeah. It's a hit. And thank you for Breaking Bad. Ah, oh, pleasure. I cool. love that show. So do I. <laughs>